everybody. It is Brent Harding, and you are on the Wealth Warriors Group broadcast. It is great to see you this morning, or at least great to be seen. How is that? Well, we've got a topic for you this morning. How's your wealth growth plan working? Another question. Are you working your growth wealth plan? That's what we're gonna be talking about this morning. How are we working the plan? Is the plan actually written down? Hmm. My name is Brent Harding again, and I am the host of the Wealth Warrior Broadcast. I am also the owner of BSH Companies, which is an exponential growth company just for you. It focuses in on entrepreneurship, also coaching, and public speaking. And I am pleased and proud every week to bring you this broadcast. So let's get this party started. First and foremost, Chico Floyd, thank you. Good to have you with us. Great morning, Wealth Warrior Platinum Ambassador Robin Tennille. It is a pleasure to have you with me this morning. Oh my goodness, I am so enthusiastic about today's broadcast. So let me share with you what you can expect from today's show. First and foremost, you know we always have shout outs and mentions. And then we've got a new early riser. Somebody's got bragging rights today and we've got honorable mention as well. I'll be talking to you about who the show sponsor is today. And then we will get right into it. What's your plan? We'll also be talking about how you can join the Wealth Warrior community. And I'll be sharing with you a little bit about, no, I'll be sharing just a nice taste and touch of what's happening with E3 Power Up coming on September 30th. And we'll be talking about why real estate is the base of any great wealth plan. We'll also be talking about protecting your assets. Very important. Not only it's important for you, it's important for you to be cognizant of your family's assets, and especially if you have older parents. We're then going to wrap up the show and We've got announcements, announcements, announcements. We always have announcements. Very good, very good, very good. So I'm going to start off by going. So we know what that means, right? We know we want to share the broadcast with folks, right? And we also know that we want to be talking about the nuggets. Go ahead and share with us what's going on with you. Put it in the feeds. We want to hear from you. See, this is interactive. You're hearing me, but guess what? I get to hear from you as well. Oh my goodness, we have Mr. Kit Pang in the house. Kit Pang is the only gentleman speaker at E3 Power Up 2017 happening on September 30th. So welcome Kit Nancy Lewis. Great morning to you. Great morning. Great morning. So again, you got it. You know what to do. So let me start out with some shout outs and mentions. You heard me mention uh, Robin Tennille. Robin Tennille is our Platinum Wealth Warrior Ambassador. And actually, I'll be meeting her for the very first time come September 30th. So I want to give a shout out to her. Give a shout out to Pamela Stone, who checked in with us this morning. I want to give a shout out to Jane C. Edmonds. I had an incredible conversation with this wonderful woman who is at Babson College. She is at the Babson College Entrepreneurial College, that part of the college that focuses in on entrepreneurialism. And I will be talking about her in the upcoming weeks. We are trying to entice her to open up our program on September 30th. So Jane, Shout out to you. Also, I want to give a shout out to Al Peters and Sharon Nix. I'll be telling you a little bit about why I'm shouting out to them in just a few moments. And Erica Neville, I really appreciated the fact that last night she was in the feed. She was checkmarking everything that's going on because 
I put together the calendar from now until September 30th. You know every show that we're going to be doing. You know the content of the show now because I'm making that known. And I loved it. She said, Brent, I'm up every Saturday morning, but I've got a training to go to. So I watch the replays. So Erica, this one is for you. Now, why did I mention Al Peters? I mentioned Al Peters because he has earned the bragging rights. That's right. He snatched those bragging rights away from Taria Hodge and said, no, I am the king. I want to share with you that Al Peters is a marketing and social media manager at Boston uh, Facebook, um, excuse me, for, for the Boston Facebook directory. And his background is in IT. So let me say that one more time. Al Peters, is a marketing and social media manager at Boston Biz Facebook directory. Al, you got it. Also want to give an honorable mention to Sharon Nick. She came in right underneath Al one second sooner and she would have had the bragging rights, but that's okay. She's got honorable mention. So Sharon, you are mentioned. With that being said, let me share with you. We're not, uh, the show today is not sponsored by a company. Rather, we are acknowledging Verac. That is Veronica Robles Cultural Center. Why are we acknowledging her? We're acknowledging her because during the E3 Power Up event, we are going to have a draw, we're going to have drawings of baskets, and the monies that are derived from the drawings from the people that are participating, a portion of those we're going to be splitting those between two organizations, and one of them is the Veronica. Robles Cultural Center, also known as Varak. It is over in East Boston, and I had the privilege of being interviewed on their broadcast by the youth. That She runs a youth organization that focuses in on the arts and how the arts can positively affect your youth. It can affect the, the youth. Uh, she works with youth that are ages 16 and above. And what's exciting was these kids, these youth know what they're doing. She focuses in on media. She focuses in on the arts. And she shares with them that you can actually create a lifestyle, create a living through the arts. And so I want to acknowledge and let you know that we are being philanthropic. Not only are we talking about wealth, but we're also going to let people know that our community, our Wealth Warrior Group community also has the ability and does believe in philanthropic initiatives. And so we are starting with Veronica Robles Cultural Center, Varak. You'll see if you when you look on the Facebook on our Facebook Wealth Warrior group page, if you go down, if you scroll down, you will see uh, a um, a media piece that I did, a clip that I did on that organization the day that I was there. So Veronica, great morning to you. So what are we talking about this morning? We're talking about what's your wealth growth plan. What are you doing to create wealth? And you know, the very first thing, when we talk about a plan, a plan is in writing. A plan is in writing so that you can distinguish Distinguish so that you have something to look back on, so that you have something to measure. It's got to be in writing. It cannot be sitting here in your head. If it is sitting here in your head, guess what? Nobody else knows the plan. And if you are a family, then the family wants to know the plan. Why? So that everybody can participate. You can delegate components of the plan so that you're ensuring that you've got growth. And I tell you truly, if you tell your children this is about money, they will stay on you about that plan for a certainty. They will be saying, how are we doing with this? And you know, what's interesting is if you, whether it's passbook savings, whether it's a writ, whether it is a, a bank statement savings, when you decide to meet on a monthly basis, the family sits down and they go over the plan and they talk about how growth is occurring, you will engage 
your children, you engage your family. And what you do is you set the groundwork for the legacy. You set the groundwork for the legacy. Because see, you're getting up every Saturday morning. By the way, I want to say Horace White, thank you for joining us. Belle Gnarly, thank you. Oh, great day, champion. I love this woman. Thank you so much. Liz, Rob, I want to say great morning to you. So I want to acknowledge when you're on the air. We are actually broadcasting on not only my channel on Facebook, we're broadcasting on uh, YouTube. We're also broadcasting on Wealth Warrior Strategy Strategies as well. So we're broadcasting in a couple of locations. Great morning, Amanda Bruin. Amanda Bruin was one of the very first individuals to get a VIP ticket for E3 Power Up. Amanda, it's coming up shortly. Amanda, Amanda uh, hails out of New Hampshire. She is the queen of real estate. And right now that's part and parcel. What we're going to be talking about in segment two is we're going to be talking about real estate. She is a person that while she hails out of New Hampshire, she is able to help you here in Massachusetts. So you want to go up to her page and take a look because we support the community, the Wealth Warrior Group community. So Amanda, put a little information in there about yourself so that we know what's going on with you. Desmond Big D Donaldson in the house. Great morning to you. Okay, let me get back to the topic at hand. What is your plan? Is your plan written down? What is a part of your wealth growth plan? How are you going to grow your wealth? Is it going to be through real estate? Is it going to be through collectibles? Is it going to be through collections? Uh, is it going to be through art? What are you doing? Is it going to be through, um, mm, I'm trying to think of, for, through antiques, antiquities? What is your growth plan? Is it going to be physical? Are you going to create residual, some sort of residual income? Is your plan definitive? And then are you working the plan? Because see, some of us write the plan down and then it gets shelved. And I tell you, I speak from experience. I recall when I was writing a business plan, wrote the plan down, got the staff together. We went over the plan and it went on a shelf and it stood, sat there for three years. It didn't occur to me that we need to go back and review our plans. We need to go back and adjust the plan. Do you know that when you write a plan for the first 12 months, you will be adjusting that plan on a regular basis? Why? Because you will be figuring out what's working, what's not working. You'll figure out where to place your resources. You may like one thing, but when you're looking at your plan, it's not growing. So it means that either you need to shelf that so that you can focus your resources on what is working, or it means that if you are so passionate about it, you need to give it a date in which you will either start it or you give it a date in which you will say, okay, if it hasn't produced X by this date, then I'm going to shelve it and put my energies into other things until these are stable. And then I'll come back to that. Hmm, something to think about. Isaac Hill, good morning to Isaac. Good morning. <laughs> it is great to have you, my brother in spirit. It's great to have you with me. And Pamela, great morning. Pamela will be with us, by the way, next week. I'll be making that under the announcements. So how does a plan look? Well, a plan actually starts with the resources that you already have in tow. So what resources do you already have? Do you already have real estate? Are you involved in network marketing? Uh, are you already starting to collect? Have you dealt in stock? Are you following certain companies? So it starts by really resourcing yourself now. Where are you in the present? So if you, I like to use Excel spreadsheets. So I like to define things on an Excel spreadsheet. So that first column would actually, there would be headers, sections, 
based on what it is that you are actually utilizing or what you actually have in tow. So you might have a section for real estate. You might have a section for uh, collectibles. You might have a section for stock. And then that first column, after you have your header column or your list column, that first column would speak to the values that you have in there presently. So present value. And then you might have your projected value for 12 months, projected value for 24, 36. You're looking to grow a 60 month plan. And then after that, it's 10 and 20 years. So you want to have something written out. And I just happen to like Excel spreadsheets because they're quick, they're simple, I can do it now. You may decide to use some sort of resource that you have uh, looked up on Facebook. And if you find a great resource, put it in the feed and share it with the family. This is a growth of family. I have met more people in this community. In fact, how I met Amanda Bruin was through somebody in the community. I'm, and so we're meeting different people and doing business with the various members of the community. I will share with you uh, that Ronald Cumming has an amazing product that I'm going to be sharing with you for those of us that are entrepreneurs that we want to, will want to get involved in. And so to that end, I have met people in the community. And if you've met people in the community, put it in the feed, put it in the group and let us know that because we want to be rolling those dollars right in our community. Great morning, Robert Jackson. It's good to have you in the house. So we are going to begin by sharing. We know what that means, right? So share, share the feed over to individuals and, oh, sorry, do it the right way, Brent. Put some, if you've gotten a nugget out of this, then put it in the feed. If you've gotten a nugget, put it in the feed. In fact, one of the first nuggets that ought to be in the feed is write the plan. You don't even need to say wealth, wealth growth plan. Just say write the plan. That would be very powerful because we need triggers in our brain. Remember, we talked about train the brain. So let the nuggets become the triggers for training the brain. So let's share the announcements, announcements, announcements. I want to let you know, first announcement is, at, well, I'm actually going to go in a little bit different order, but let me say the first announcements, announcement. September 1st, 2017, the first Friday in September, the tribe is convening at Boston Speaks Series, which is hosted by none other than Kit Pang. So if you are not away, and I'll tell you what, I talked to a young lady that I met at the event uh, who does send out notes. I talked to her, and I hope that I'm saying this correctly. Um, I spoke with her a day before yesterday, and what was interesting is she said, I have a wedding rehearsal to go to on Saturday. They're hosting at my house. She said, however, I will be at the first Friday. I will be at the uh, first Friday event, Boston Speaks series with me, Brent Harding and Kit Pang. I am going to be there. I am there every month and I am inviting you to join us. By the way, the first tribe member that arrives gets the first row. So when you get to the event, if I am not there, you want to assume the position and take all the seats on the first row. Yes, kid, I am telling them to take all the seats on the first row. We want to be front, large, and in charge. And if you are there, and I expect you will, on September 1st, I will have a special gift for all of our Wealth Warrior tribe that shows up and joins me on the first Friday. September 30th, you already know it, but if you don't, let me share it with you. We will be hosting, the state of Massachusetts will be hosting E3 Power Up 2017. It is an award-winning Woman Entrepreneurs Conference. And next week, I will be sharing the location. We have finally settled in. I will be signing the agreement tomorrow, and I will be announcing the location. Yes! And I am so psyched, and I am totally amazed at where it's at. 
and it's in Boston. So fly in, do whatever you need to do, but we want to see you. Go to www.e3powerup2017.com to get your tickets. When? Now. There are literally only three VIP tickets remaining, and you want one of them. We're not increasing it. Only three. You want to get yours. With that being said, I want to share with you today, if you are in my community, if you are on Hutching Street in Boston, there is a block party. It is being hosted by the Hutching Street neighbors. And it, they're saying, come on out and come Get to know your community. So I'm going to head on down there at noontime. It's from 12 noon until 5 o'clock. And I'm going to get to meet some of my neighbors, people I haven't seen in years I am going to meet. So I am very excited about that. With that being said, how do you join the Wealth Warrior community? All you have to do is go on Facebook, go up to the Wealth Warriors Group, WWG, Wealth Warriors Group, and hit the join button. And guess what? We're going to approve you, bring you in. And then tell us a little bit about you. How can we help you? How can we support you? What do you want from us? And then share what you do so that we can support. Because I'm going to tell you something. The very first place that I go to when I'm looking for anything, when I need anything, I go to the Wealth Warrior Group. Oh, my goodness. Danielle Dagba is in the house. She is hailing from California. By the way, she is going to be in Boston uh, very shortly. I believe it's September. But uh, Danielle, please put it in both feeds. Put, uh, put it not only in the Wealth Warrior group feed, but also put it on my feed directly here on uh, Brent Harding at, on Facebook. Connie Joseph. Hello. Good morning, darling. It's good to see you. Hailing from Ohio. One beautiful, striking woman, I have to tell you. With that being said, why do I talk about real estate as the base on your wealth growth plan? Why do I do that? Amanda, put the answer in the feed. Why, why, why do I talk about real estate as the base for wealth? Amanda's going to answer that. She's going to put it directly in the feed because real estate is an essential. If you are renting right now, terrific. What is your view? How, what are you going to do to buy that first piece of real estate? that very first piece of real estate. If you already have real estate, then you have a clue. So my question is, are you leveraging what you have right now? Are you leveraging it? So let's go, let's talk about the first part. And the first part is why is real estate the base? And why is it, I know some of you wanna say, Brent, good, Guga Muga, you talk about that constantly. Yes, and I'm going to keep on talking about it until somebody puts in the feed, I bought my house, I bought my house, I bought my house, I bought my house. In December, when we're reporting on, when we're doing the annual report for the Wealth Warrior community, we want to report properties that have been purchased. That's why you hear me beating you down on it, because we are going into a period of time, and I love it. Amanda said, leverage is the key, and it is. So I'm going to talk about purchase first, and then we're going to talk about leverage. So I'm coming back to purchasing, and I'm saying if you have, if you are a renter right now, then you want to be purchasing that first piece of property. You want to gain as much information as you can, but please do not have analysis paralysis. Okay, will you analyze and analyze and analyze and miss the opportunity to purchase that piece of property? Remember, I shared with you, we're coming into a period of time where the property per, where the property prices are going to be very effective for you. Remember what we always talk about? We always talk about the real estate cycle. So we are getting ready to come in. We are in a, we're coming into rather a form stage. Actually, we had, we started the form stage. The form and the perform are, are crossing each other. I'm sorry, the, perf, the, the form and the norm are crossing each other. 
And so we're getting ready to come into that storm period of time. So you want to be prepared and ready for that purchase. The money needs to be saved. Forego anything that is not an essential, that is not crucial, so that you have cash because cash is king. When you can close a deal in 10 days because you've got cash, guess what? There is some maneuvering on purchase pricing. It is powerful. It is powerful, which leads me into the leverage side. If you already have the asset, are you leveraging it? Are you taking cash out of that property? And right now, interest rates are definitely low. In fact, we just did a refinance with someone whose interest rate was at 6.25 and it's coming down to 3. Point, I think it's about 3.25. Do you know what three points in interest will do to that mortgage? And the person is actually taking some cash out and their payment will still be lower. They're taking 50 grand out and it will still be lower. That is powerful. And leveraging it, taking the cash not to do frivolous things, take the cash to build your wealth growth plan. How, when you're doing that, you've got to be mindful. We cannot peel the money. Anybody know what that is? Hashtag no peeling. I know you're saying, mm, I could get a car. No, you can't. I could uh, invest in, in a TV, in a huge 99-inch uh, screen TV. No, you can't. When you take that money out, it is destined for a location that is a part of your growth plan. Ah, oh, yeah, but Brent, you know what? I'd like to give myself a little something, something. Give yourself the house. Give yourself the collectible. Give yourself the artwork that will have value. That's what you want to be doing. Do you know there are things such as estate sales that are going on right now that you could be purchasing valuable items? that will have a value that you could potentially either sell or leverage in the future. I was talking to a dear friend. In fact, I'm going over to look at some. I'm going to look at some estate sale items. Somebody passed away. They had, uh, how do I put it, storage full of products, silver, ivory, you name it. What are those? Those are, let me get close to you, collectibles. And we have an opportunity to have those. And those become leverage or investments for the future, investments part of your legacy. But right now I'm talking about real estate. Are you taking the funds out so that you can leverage them and buy something else? Now is the time for us to be strategizing about those purchases. Now, I'm going to share this. You've got to have a plan. Please do not go off and say, I'm just going to cap, I'm going to get that 50,000, I'm going to get that 100,000, and I'm just going to let it sit there. No, no, no. Before you refi, know what it is that you're going to do. What are you going to accomplish? Talk to the professionals. There are folks in our Wealth Warrior community. I've already mentioned, you've heard me mention Amanda. Contact her. Say, this is what I want to do. How do I go about doing that? Go look. There are real estate specialists right in our community. Interview them. Pick the person that you feel connected with and make something happen. Now, you hear me mentioning people in the community. I am giving you, I want to make sure that I'm plugging you because that's how the dollars continue to move within our Wealth Warrior community. Is that right? You bet it is because we are going to cause an explosion. So that's why I keep saying to you, okay, let me do it. Invite folks in. We need more family so that we can continue to do that business together. So you've heard me mention your first piece of property. 
you've heard me mention leveraging. There may be some of you coming together. In fact, I am meeting with a young lady and we are going to sign an agreement to do a partnership together around something that she wants to do that I wanted to do literally 20 years ago. Timing is everything. She mentioned something and I went, hmm, would you be interested in us partnering up? And we're going to do just that from the community. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's take a station break and let me share with you what is happening on September 30th. Uh, next week, Pamela, Pamela, uh, oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Pamela Stone, forgive me, Pamela, I, I apologize. Pamela Stone, Robin Tenniel will be joining me and we will be giving you the updates, the 411 and the 911 on the Wealth Warrior broadcast, excuse me, I'm sorry, on E3 Power Up 2017. The program is set. We only have one announcement during announcements. I'll share that with you. The program is set. The location will be announced next week. You will be meeting the speakers during the month of September so that you will have a clue, an idea about who they are when you meet them on September 30th. Details about them are now available on the Eventbrite site. You can get to all of the information that we have up right now at www.e3powerup2017.com. It will take you right into the page on Eventbrite. You'll be able to see the dossiers on the speakers. And very shortly, we will have the agenda listed as well. I mean, we have got it all. Everything from the various programs, I'm sorry, the various workshops. We have got the deal board. We have got drawings. We've got swag bags. You name it, we've got it. And we have a location to die for. That's all I got to say. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be great. Come with an attitude to learn. Come with an attitude to grow. Come with an attitude that says, I do want exponential growth. Because that, in fact, is the theme that is at hashtag exponential growth. Put it in the feed. Hashtag exponential growth. Not slow growth, trajectory growth. See, anybody can do something slow, but can you do it with speed? Can you do it with speed? We're going to not only be learning from each other, but we're going to lay information on top. That's what exponential growth is about. It is laying models on top of what you're doing so that you speed up the process, so that you're not having to test everything because something has been tested so you can slide in to it and that creates the exponential growth. That's what I'm talking about. So that's going to be happening on September 30th. It starts at 9 a.m. And 9 a.m. VIP He's, you will be interviewed by none other than Ann Pamela Stone. She is our media ambassador. You will meet Robin Tennille, our Wealth Warrior Platinum Ambassador. You will meet Regina Jenkins Jones, who is working with the registration for our VIPs. So at 9 a.m., you will be interviewed. So be ready. Dress for success. I love something that Chantel Bethea said. I went on an event with Women in Action, INC, Women in Action Inc. Had a wonderful event last uh, this past Monday. And I said, well, how do you dress? She said, you always dress for success. You always dress to impress. I like it. I like it very, very much. So let's move into the next segment of this. And that is protecting the assets. We are going to actually have somebody that we're going to be interviewing because protecting the assets, while I have a lot of expertise, I want to bring you somebody that can actually show you how it's done. I will talk to you about it. I will get you prepared for it. They're going to show you how you put those in place. But here's my point. You've gotten, you've done everything. You've written the plan. You know where the wealth is going. You have gotten the real estate. It's a part of the plan. 
how do you protect it to pass it on to the next generation? We do not want to see all of our assets end up going through probate and the state takes it. While we appreciate, we don't need them to take our assets. So we need to be talking about protecting them. We protect them through insurance. We protect them through trusts. We protect them through corporations. How are we going to protect your assets? Well, I'm going to do my part. I'm going to bring experts on with me to talk about how we protect the assets. But you have to do your part. And your part is to get your plan written. Do you have a will? Are you going to put things in, 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 in trust so you may not need that will because it will be passed on through the trust? Who are going to be the trustees? Who are going to handle matters? Who is the executor or executor, executress of your estate? When we talk about wealth, see, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of the name. There is a book, and I'm going to have it by next week. And the book talks about what the middle class do. Somebody is probably already going to know this. But what the middle class do and what the wealthy do. What's the difference between the middle class and the wealthy? And I actually have that book upstairs, so I'm going to make sure that I bring that book with us next week. But if somebody knows the name of the book, it's something about, and I bet you, Connie, you probably know it. It's, the, it's about the difference between the wealthy, how the wealthy think versus how the middle class think. And so here we're talking about the wealthy mindset. And the wealthy mindset understands that we need to protect the assets. And if any of you are 50 and older, and I'm going to tell you right now, don't ask me my age because I'm not telling you, okay? If you are 50 or older or if you have parents that are over 70, are their assets protected? Because remember, the look back period is five years. So are their assets protected? Are you moving those assets into a trust? Are you moving those assets into a corporation? Are you doing that? Because now is the time, especially if you have parents that are over 70 years old, they, you've got to protect those assets for them and for the generations after them. Great morning, Ronald Cumming. We talked about you a little bit earlier. We talked about a product that I am going to be talking to folks about relative to you and what you brought to me. So I just want you to know that I haven't forgotten and I am going to be moving. So I wanted to share that one with you. We talked about you a little bit earlier. Ooh, good to have you with us. Uh, Ronald Cumming is definitely a, a mover and shaker in the IT environment. And he is always looking for something that will benefit entrepreneurs. I really do appreciate that. So Ronald, this one is for you. So let's go back and talk a little bit more about protecting the assets. You know, oftentimes we're not thinking of things that are an asset. I happened to be at mom's house and I saw a book collection. And the book collection is such that I want to take those books, go to a specialist, have those books uh, uh, protected because they the bindings protected because the content is valuable enough that I know someone will actually pay for that. That is an asset. I love that. Amanda says, Ron is amazing. Yes, he is. <laughs> he truly is. And we appreciate him. Uh, you, there are various things. Go around your house. Do an inventory of the house. Whether you are a renter or, an, or, or a property owner, do an inventory of everything that is in the house and start assigning it value. Have your insurance professional come in and go through that and start protecting it. So if it gets lost, it gets stolen, it's in transport and something happens to it, you are protected. That's what we're talking about. There are various levels of protection. And you want to make sure you've done what I call the belt and suspenders approach. You want to protect them. You want to protect your family's assets, your parents' assets. It is critical. It's part of your growth plan, your wealth growth plan, hashtag wealth growth plan. 
Great morning, Betty Speaks, Betty Speaks, Betty Speaks. It's good to have you in the house. She is a dear friend. She is an extended family member. I will let mom know because I always let her know that you say hello and send you greetings. So let's take a moment and let's look at what we have discussed thus far this morning. This is called the recap or the short version of what happened this morning. Well, as you know, today's pro today's show is about how how's your wealth plan working? Is it working for you? Is it written down? That's the question. We gave some shout outs, of course. We gave shout outs to Pamela Stone, Robin to Neil, Jane C. Edmonds, Alpita Sharon Nix, and Erica Neville. We talked about early riser bragging rights have been snatched. And they are now owned by Al Peters. Al Peters is a marketing and social media manager at Boston Biz Facebook directory. His background is in IT. And coming right up on his heels, honorable mention goes to Sharon Nix. And she hails out of the great state of New Hampshire. We shared with you Varrock. That is Veronica Robles Cultural Center. And Varrock is an entity that we are actually going to be giving funds to. We're doing a drawing at E3 Power Up, and a portion of those funds are going to be given directly to Varrock on behalf of the participants of E3 Power Up. So ladies and gentlemen, those that are coming on September 30th, make sure you have your drawing dollars ready because we want to give a good showing about ourselves and our philanthropic mindset. So definitely make sure that you're doing that, okay? With that being said, we talked about what's your plan. Is your plan in writing, ladies and gentlemen? If it's in your head, it is not a plan. It's a thought. If it isn't in writing, it is a thought. And thoughts do not create wealth. Action creates wealth. You know, I loved something I saw on Al Peters, uh, Al Peters page uh, today, and it reads, don't chase success. Let it find you working. Don't chase success. Let it find us working our wealth plan, our wealth growth plan that is written down. Are we convening with our family on a monthly basis? I convene on a monthly basis. Are we going through the plan? Are we checking off the things that are done? Are we checking into the things that are not done? Do we know what we're passing on to the next generation? Do we know how we're passing it on to the next generation? Does anybody know what a deed restriction is? I know Amanda knows. Amanda, let I want to see who knows who's going to put it in the feed. What is a deed restriction? That's something that you should know. We talked about sharing, right? Sharing, sending the message out. We talked about joining and sharing the news and your nuggets. So we said, share the feed, join and write down the nuggets. Keep track of things for us. So we've done that. I'm getting the hand right. <laughs> With that being said, we talked about real estate. Real estate is the base of wealth. It really is. If you are renting right now, then your next destination is about purchasing. You want to be purchasing real estate and then leverage it. What's your next venture? What's the next piece of real estate that you're going to purchase? Because we are leaving legacies for the next generation. Their job is to build on the foundation that you've set. And I promise you, there isn't a wealthy person on the planet that does not own real estate. There isn't a, whether it's good times or hard times, you're either leveraging it or renting it. But re real estate is a main staple. It is a necessity. I keep emphasizing that over and over and I'll speak till the cows come home. Something I, I'm trying to think of something that uh, Tony Robbins said. He said that uh, his minister did a, uh, did a speech and everybody loved it. And he said the next week, he did the same one and everybody went, okay. He said, then the third week, everybody went, 
And so at the end of the sermon, he spoke to the minister and he said, you know, the first week he said, wow, that was great. Second week, it, it was okay. He said, but I'm not understanding. You gave the same talk. You gave the same sermon for the third week in a row. And the minister said, and I'm going to keep on giving it until you do something, until you take some action. Take action, because that's what this is about. It's about taking action. And that's why a plan is in writing. Whoa, um, Amanda saved you all. I want you to know that Amanda saved you because she put the information in the feed already. Amanda, I told you to wait and see if they would do it. She said, I'm not waiting, Brett, because I'm taking action. I'm doing it now. Thank you, Amanda. James Grant, the author of Women Are Gods. It is wonderful to see you. Oh, my goodness. That is a gentleman that appreciates the, 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 the mothers, appreciates the family. He has been such a wonderful inspiration and has been very kind to my mother. I really do appreciate you. Show some love. Okay. With that being said, we talked about real estate as the base. We talked about first purchases. We talked about leverage. I shared with you before you leverage that property and let that money sit in your account and stop peeling it. Before you do that, get the plan. Talk to someone. Talk to somebody in the family, in the community. Talk to them and say, I'm going to, I'm thinking about doing this. What's the best way to make this happen? Set aside some funds so that you can pay the professional to help you do what you need to do. We talked about E3 Power Up 2017. We talked about folks that have already got their VIP tickets, only three VIP tickets left. www.e3powerup 2017.com. Go there to get your tickets. Meet some of the speakers that will be there on the 30th. That will be a wonderful thing. We talked about protecting your assets. And especially if you have parents. If you have parents you, and they are 70 years or older, it is imperative. It is your job. It is your role. It is your role as a child of your parent to make sure those assets are protected, that you find out what they want so that you can prepare everything and all deals are set so that everything is taken care of and there is no more worry. Yvonne Horn, it's good to have you in the house. Good morning. You caught us just at that conclusion, but I know you got some nuggets. Definitely make sure that you go up on the Facebook page, on the Wealth Warrior Group Facebook page. Robin Tenille, our Wealth Warrior Platinum Ambassador, feeds information in that feed as well. So make sure that you do that. And we actually talked about announcements, announcements, announcements. Today, if you are in my neighborhood, there is a block party. It starts at noontime. I am going to be there and I'm going to be there. And by the way, they put it in Spanish as well. I'm going to be there to meet our neighbors. Uh, they say all kinds of things are going on. Face painting for the kids. Uh, they're going to uh, they're going to have an artist there. There's going to be balloons. There's going to be a photo booth. There are going to be Lego, ta uh, Lego tables. There will be sidewalk games, jump rope. Double Dutch. Who doesn't love a double Dutch? It's just getting in between the ropes that's challenging. Um, they're going to have all kinds of things and they're going to have food. By the way, if you have a bicycle, they are going to have bike repairs and maintenance going on. So you want to be there. September 1st, Wealth Warriors. Wealth Warrior Tribe is convening at Boston Speaks Series hosted by Kit Pang. Go up to Eventbrite and register for the event. That's happening the first Friday of the month. Even if you're going out of town, make sure you stop in, join the tribe. The event starts at eight in the morning. You'll be out by 10 and then you can hit the road down to the Cape if that's where you're going or wherever you're going to, whatever you're doing, let your weekend start by joining your tribe members 
at the Boston Speaks series. It's going to be at the Hatch 400 Park Drive, uh, and that is near the Fenway. September 30th, you know where to be. Where will you be? You better be with us. I love that. You better be with us at E3 Power Up 2017. It is going to be happening September 30th. And next week, the whole show is dedicated to all the happenings that are going on. I'm going to try to see if we can sneak in a few more people that will be interviewed on for that broadcast. And we will be announcing the location on Saturday. How about that? I want to give a shout out to Jeff Z. Jeff, I have a challenge pronouncing your last name, so I'm going to say Jeff C. Z. And the reason why I'm, I'm uh, sharing this with you is because he is constantly feeding his events on our page. And I want to start acknowledging if you've got an event, we want to know about it. Put it on the Facebook page so that we can make the announcement on our Wealth Warrior Group broadcast every Saturday. I want to have a plethora of announcements. So feed it into us. Let us know. I'm going to comb through. Robin and I will comb through all of the announcements, and then I will make sure that they get announced on Saturday. So this is free publicity just for you, free publicity just for you, free publicity just for you. With that being said, I want to share with you that it has been an extraordinary morning. I hope that you got some serious nuggets out of today. also want to let you know that on the calendar, on the calendar in the Wealth Warrior page, I have filled that calendar in. And again, I'm going to be filling it in in advance so you know what shows are going on. My cousin Annette Harding said, Brent, if you let us know in advance, we'll be there. So I am making it a point. Annette, I heard you loud and clear. I'm not even going to say your nickname. Mm -mm, I'm not going to say it because I don't want her saying my nickname, okay? So with that being said, I have had an amazing fun time with everybody this morning. I love y'all. I will see you next week, and I will see you live come September 30th. Go out today and be absolutely amazing. I'll see you next week. Take care. Have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been my pleasure. I will see you next week. Enjoy yourselves.